What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to do a comparison of the Fans Toy Spindrift 1.0 with the Fan Toy Spindrift 2.0 and the X Transbots Neptune, all versions of a Masterpiece C Spray. These did come out a few years apart, so the original Fans Toy, I believe, was in 2017. This was in 2019, I believe, and this just came out in 2021, even though the package says 2020. So they do have the advantage of you know, coming after each other, but we're going to take a look at it, we're going to compare this into various categories. As I always mention with these reviews, I try to be as objective as possible, but of course there's subjectivity involved when you judge something like this. So if I pick one that you don't prefer, then you win. Uh, it's nice for us to have choice, and luckily we have a choice here with Sea Spray. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. We'll start off with the accessories. So there are all the accessories they come with. Very obvious who's going to win here, but I still want to go over them so you can see what they include. So they all come with an alternate head or face. The 2.0 and Neptune are more like a masked face, whereas the x Transbots is just more squared off. But they're all for that alternate you know, toy type of look. They all come with a gun. The Fans Toys with 2.0 and the Neptune are painted with this blue, and this one's painted gray, whereas the original is unpainted. Set those aside. And then the both Fans Toys, this one comes with the extra gun, whereas the Fans Toys 1.0 comes with these sidearm pieces that you can plug into his arms. And here's what you're left with. Obviously, X Transbots has a ton more accessories. You get this beach kit with the pail and the shovel and the beach ball. Me, personally, I don't care for this. It just goes right back in the box, but you do get it. You do get alternate eyepiece for the head. So if you wanted the red mask instead of the silver mask, you could replace it with this. You do get these, which fit into the bottom of his feet. So he can go water skiing or whatever. You get these skis and handle so you can go water skiing with the Masterpiece Bumblebee. Masterpiece Bumblebee fits perfectly into these slots. So quite a few accessories because you've got way more with X-Transbots. Obviously we're going to give X-Transbots accessories. So next we're going to talk about the cartoon accuracy. In order to do that we're going to put the G1 cartoon image over here so you can take a look. And this is somewhat of a debated topic of course because the original cartoon image is uh, really strange looking. It's just kind of bulbousy, uh, not very menacing, and you know, trying to take that image and make it into an adult figure that you know at least looks like a robot that's going to fight is a challenge. And that's what all three of these are trying to do, right? Trying to do a meld between the cartoon and you know, an adult toy. So the fan stories 1.0. Uh, they took a more svelte athletic approach and it really ends up being the farthest from the cartoon. The feet are probably the most accurate in terms of the cartoon, but the rest of the body is just its own thing and even the sculpting. Very odd for fans toys. They usually don't do figures like this. Uh, the 2.0 I think is probably the closest to having the bulk of the cartoon but still being somewhat good looking and not being too overly you know, bulbous in the center here. And then the Neptune is kind of good in between, right? It's got that cartoon look, but it's also got that mature adult look. It does nail, you know, a lot of the aesthetics in terms of looking like the cartoon, but it doesn't stick to the overall proportions. Uh, and it does kind of have a little bit more of a realistic look, and we'll see that more in the alt mode. But because they've taken a little bit more of a realistic approach with the Neptune, I'm going to give it to the Fans Toys 2.0. So next we're going to talk about Sculpt, and this is interesting because when you go from the Fan Stories 1.0 to the 2.0, huge change in the sculpting, right? They did a lot of panel lining and sculpt work on this guy. I mean, there's stuff all over him. And then you go to the 2.0 and it's super duper clean. There's It's just flat and smooth all over. And then you got the Neptune, which is kind of right in the middle. It's got some smooth surfaces, also got some nice sculpt work and nice proportions overall. So while I, I like the Fans Toys for cartoon accuracy, I think they nailed it. I believe the Neptune really has a good sculpt overall. It's a good balance between the cartoon accuracy and still, you know, having some sculpt work on it. So we're going to give sculpt to Neptune. So next we're talking about the paint on these figures. So for the Fans Toys 1.0, you have paint on the chest here. You have that red, yellow, and blue, 
which I don't really understand why they did that because it doesn't look like the cartoon. You have the face painted as well, and then these feet are painted this blue, which looks really nice. I can't tell if the arms are painted or not. I don't think they are. I believe they're just a plastic color. Uh, but overall, this has the least paint out of the three. The Fans Toys 2.0 is fully painted. Pretty much every surface you see is painted. The yellows, the blues, the whites, and the grays on the on the guns. Even these uh, propellers are painted, so that's going to be fully painted. And then you got the Neptune, and I believe this is also fully painted. So all of these yellow surfaces, uh, this part I'm not really sure. It looks like it is painted, so I'm going to give it to them. The blue is fully painted on the arms and the feet. The yellow on the head fully painted. The chest is fully painted. And these black on these uh, propellers are also painted. So again, the Fans Toys and the x Transbots. Fancy 2.0 are both fully painted. I do think that the paint, this metallic paint, stands out a lot more. And again, it's not cartoon accurate, which is why we didn't give them the cartoon accuracy. But I like the look of that. I think it stands out on a shelf. It has presence. So we're going to give paint to x Bots. I believe they just have, you know, more attractive paint. Next, we're going to talk about the build quality on these figures. And just to start off, all of them have a really good build quality. None of them are really you know, feel, you know, subpar, they're going to fall apart, anything like that. But we're doing this comparison, so I do have to talk about, you know, my personal concerns. So with the Fan Stories 1.0, pretty solid. It's got some nice die cast, uh, some nice joints, no no ratchets or anything on this guy. Uh, if you turn to the back here, you do have um, these parts here are probably the most concerning for me because there's a lot of pins, and you do have to move these from the back all the way to the front, and they have to angle and fit in here. Um, so that part is probably the only part that I'm really concerned about in terms of uh, a build. But uh, overall, still pretty solid in, in terms of uh, build quality. Yeah, and this gun just kind of fits in his hand. But Moving on to 2.0. This is probably feels the most solid in hand. Everything is just chunky and, and solid. You got nice die cast in the feet here. There's die cast in the body as well. You do have ratchet joints here in the thighs as well as in the knees. Um, the issue on this one is probably most concerning is these two screws. So as you transform, that screw loosens up and then you get loose ankles. You can just tighten up that screw, but it still is an annoyance. And over time, you have to just kind of do that maintenance on this guy. Going with the Neptune, he also has die cast in the feet, in the thighs, and some of the body. And um, that does feel really good. There are a couple of loose joints on this, so this waist joint is a little bit on the loose side. And also this part here does tend to just get out of whack, and so you end up trying to, you know, re-straighten it and center it. Um, but um, again, really small issues I'm talking about here. You do have uh, nice tight joints for the hips and the knees, but there are no ratchets again on this guy. So just really because of the ratchet joints, uh, there's you know really no hardware on these other guys. So I'm gonna give it to Fansoys 2.0 and really just by a nose. None of these have uh, build quality issues, but we're gonna give it to Fansoys 2.0. All right, next we're gonna talk about the articulation on these. In order to do that, we're gonna articulate each one. I'm gonna to try to go pretty fast here so it won't take too long. But the head on the phone point out goes up and down a little bit. It's on a ball joint. You don't really get much out of that. You can articulate this, although it's actually more of an annoyance than help. You can spin these, obviously. The shoulders rotate all the way around on a, looks just look like a rotation joint there. Rotation at the bicep, the elbow can double jointed and goes the full bend all the way up to there. The hand, the wrist rotates, and you can open up the hand on a single pin. And I do find that these guns tend to fall off, so I'm just going to leave it off. You can rotate at the waist, nice tight joint. It looks like they could have had an ab crunch, but because of the way it's transformed, you'd have to unpeg it to, to get it to really ab crunch. There is no ab crunch there. Legs go up to there, back to there, out to the side. Rotation at the mid-thigh, although it does break the sculpt there in the middle. You have, again, a double-jointed knee, gets you the full bend. You have a ankle tilt, although a little bit limited on the ankle tilt. And you have a um, pivot. It goes back to there. Uh, not much forward, but it does go back a little bit. So moving on to 2.0, 
the head is on a ball joint, you get down to there, up to there, so a little bit more than 1.0, but still a little bit limited. Rotates all the way around. You can, you can move this down, and this time it actually has a purpose because you can get the head downwards a little bit more. So I like that, that's kind of cool. Uh, you can spin these on propellers on the back. You can rotate the arm at the shoulder, again on this similar type of joint. Goes up to there, goes a little bit further. Rotation at the elbow, only a 90 degree bend at the elbow. And for the wrist you get a little bit of rotation, but it is limited because it's hindering hitting by this. And you have a single pin for the hands that get you open like that. You have a rotation at the waist, but again, hindered by its own sculpt, so you can only get just a little bit of a turn there. Legs go up to there on a ratchet, back to there, again, hindered by its own sculpt, and then out to the side. You have a 90 degree bend at the knee, really tight. Gets up to there. You have this ankle tilt, both directions, ankle pivot, all the way up to there, all the way back to there, and you have that screw that gets loose over time. But Here's his articulation, and we'll move on to Neptune. Neptune has head on a, rot uh, is it a ball joint? No, it looks like a rotating swivel. So you get down to there, up to there, rotates all the way around. Um, that seems to move up and down the most out of the three. You do have the propellers that spin, you have the rotation at the shoulder. You have a butterfly joint here that gets allows you to get the arm in so and back, so that's nice. Rotation at that joint as well, and it can go out to the side. You have a double jointed elbow, it's a full bend. The hands rotate all the way around and you have a single pin. Rotation at the waist, ab crunch because of this joint they've built in here. You get all the way down to there. So you can't be sitting. We're just gonna leave that out. The gun does not peg in, so it does tend to fall out, but that's not articulation. You have the leg goes up to there, back to there and all the way out. So the most movement out of the three. You have a single jointed knee, but it gets you past 90 degrees. And you have an ankle tilt all the way out to there, and a little bit to the other way, and then forward and backwards as well. So, of the three, the X Transbus definitely has the most articulation, the most fluid movement, uh, and that's most. a lot of it is due to the sculpt. They didn't put some things in the way to prevent the articulation. So we're gonna give articulation to X Transbus. All right, next we're gonna talk about the transformation and engineering. And I realized recently that I have the advantage of having just transformed these and messed with these right before these reviews. So unfortunately, I'm not going to show the transformation in these reviews. It would just take too much time. So you'll have to kind of take my word for it as far as the difficulty and the uh, the fun factor. But let's start with the Fans Toys 1.0. The 1.0 is probably the, the least enjoyable, mainly be due to these panels here. Those have to flip out and around, and then there's three peg points on them, and those three peg points have to fit in at the same time in the vehicle mode. And so that's probably the most frustrating part of the 1.0. Um, still not too bad, but just uh, of the three, that's probably the most frustrating. The, the Fastways 2.0 is a very enjoyable transformation. I flip this back and forth uh, quite often. The hardest part on this one is probably these feet here, these panels. They have to flip around and they're very tight joints. So you just have to be careful with that and you have to kind of put some force in there. Um, but other than that, the whole transformation is, is pretty enjoyable. Uh, Neptune as well is pretty enjoyable, pretty intuitive. There isn't really anything on here that's difficult or annoying, except for maybe squeezing the chest together. You got to get it kind of squeezed together at the same time on both sides. But other than that, um, pretty easy. So we're going to give a tie on transformation between 2.0 and Neptune. Uh, when you get to talk about engineering, I think Fans Toys has the best engineering uh, out of these three, the 2.0. Uh, and the reason I say that is, they're, once again, they do that magic where they get it to look very accurate in both the robot and vehicle mode, and yet there's no kibble and everything's nice and clean all throughout. Um, when you look at the the X Transos, there is a little bit of kibble on the feet, just a little bit, not a lot. <laughs> and then on the back a little bit, you know, it's not as clean although it's close, right? There's just tiny bits of, of things sticking out. So while I think they're pretty close, I'm gonna give engineering over to Fans Toys 2.0. So here are the three of them in their alt modes. And 
you know, slightly different takes on the Altima. We'll put the G1 cartoon image there so you can see that as a reference. Uh, but let's go over each one. So the Fansoys 1.0, you can mount all the weapons on here on top. You do have to pull the legs apart to get this one in, but you can mount it. And that looks cool. I don't remember if this ever happened in the cartoon but you can do that as a storage option. This one probably looks the most like a toy. Um, you do have the head kind of tucked inside there, um, but overall, this one probably looks the least realistic and the most like a toy and less like an adult collectible. And it is the smallest of the three. The Vans Toys is the most cartoon accurate, uh, according to that image there. And it does allow you to mount the guns here or here. It does have the back of the head syndrome here on the back. Uh, but still pretty clean. Overall, very nice. A very close looking to the original G1 toy. And then finally you have the x bots here. Uh, this one looks the most like an actual hovercraft because it's got the cockpit up here with the glass. It still has the glass down here like the other two. But you've got this. You've got this little posable gun here. Uh, you again, have the back of the head syndrome on there. These two do have wheels so they can roll along the ground if you, you know, want to move them, whereas this one doesn't have the wheels. And it also has storage for the gun down here. So instead of showing on top, you got this little gun here, and now you can have the other one hidden away. So while I think the Fans Toys does look the most cartoon, which we already gave them cartoon accuracy, I think the x Transbots has the best vehicle look overall. It just looks the most like an actual hovercraft. And I like the little gun here and I like the look of that cockpit. So we're gonna give alt mode to x Transbots. And the final factor on these guys is the cost. I get my cost from the Toy Dojo website, American Retail, uh, not aftermarket or anything like that. So the Fans Toys 1.0 is $60. The Fans Toys 2.0 is $100. And the Neptune is $65. So Fans Toys 1.0 wins on cost. With the Neptune within $5, I'm going to also give them the point just because they're so close. So these two will win on cost. So final thoughts on this comparison. You can see the score there. x is going to win, but that is not the whole story here. So these two obviously are very close. Uh, the Fans Toys 1.0 isn't even the conversation here, so we just won't even talk about that. Other than this cost, you know, it had the lowest cost, but... For these two, I think the difference is x Transbots went for a balance between cartoon accuracy and a more mature looking sea spray with a lot of good accessories that are fun and, and can actually be utilized for display. The Fans Toys went for that cartoon accuracy. They nail it every time, they, both the robot mode and the vehicle mode, they always nail it. But sometimes cartoon accuracy isn't always the best. And this is a case where the cartoon accuracy isn't necessarily the best thing and what people want, especially in the alt mode. You know, it's a little bit boring. Um, so it really depends what you want in your collection. For me personally, I really prefer the fan stories. I like the look and feel and the overall cartoon accuracy of it. But a lot of people are going to stick with this x Transbots, and I totally understand why. I might actually end up keeping up both of these because I like the vehicle mode on this one, so maybe I'll have both in my collection. Either way, it's up to you to decide uh, what you prefer. Hopefully this review helped you make a decision on which way you want to go. That's really it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.